Hey guys, what is up? It's me, Ryzen, and today I'm back with a tutorial on my pan and crop. So my pan and crop is extremely, extremely easy uh, to do. So yeah, I'm gonna do a quick RAM preview, and while I do a RAM preview, I'm gonna tell you guys that I am taking donations for a new microphone. You guys can simply just donate in the description below. There's a link, or you can buy some go off my Sofi store because that also goes towards my donations too. And you can get yourself all my project files, editing packs, color corrections. Um, I have a whole bunch of stuff on there, so yeah. Alright guys, so this is the RAM preview of my painting crop. Alright, so to do this, all you're going to need to do is make an adjustment layer, like always. I don't know what the hell just happened there. Alright. So we're going to go to our effects and presets and we're going to type in transform. We're gonna put that onto the adjustment layer. Now, uh, you wanna go where the first uh, one starts, and you wanna scale, uh, keyframe your scale and keyframe your rotation, then hit U on your keyboard. And I go, I believe it's seven keyframes, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're gonna put my scale to 106, and we're gonna put my rotation to 0 0.4. Now, if you really wanted to, you could go every time you put this on and change the rotation from negative to positive. So, but you can just keep on copying and pasting these. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna type in camera lens blur. Uh, this is one of those things, it just kinda adds a little bit of effect to it, doesn't do too much. We're gonna put it to two, and then we're gonna put it to zero. After seven keyframes, everything is lining up. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put on exposure. This is a pretty easy uh, pan and crop. It's pretty simple and it gets the job done for me at least. So we're going to put the exposure to 0 0.25. And then we're going to go, like once again, 7 keyframes and put it down to 0. And now if we hit U on our keyboard, that's going to display every keyframe. We're just going to copy these. Now, after you do the first one, the first one, you can either line it up like I have it right here, or you can line it up so it's kind of in the middle, or what you think is even on both sides. So, but then every next keyframe, you want to um, copy and paste it so that the marker here is in between these two. And obviously, if you're going seven keyframes, you're not going to get perfect. But yeah, that was a tutorial on my pan crop. It was very short very simple hope you guys did enjoy make sure to leave a like peace also you guys can submit for my underrated editors week nine almost forgot about that